what should kill children, wives of herders, who does not support a Yoruba nation? Sunday, Bohu tackles Pastor Adeboye over son's death. Igbohu, in an interview, did not miss ways when he rained curses on any leader or pastor who refuses to support the secession agenda. Meanwhile, this has generated so many reactions from Nigerians who all understand all that as we progress. But before then, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate. Now the news reads in detail. The popular Yoruba nation activist Sunday Adeyomo, more commonly called Sunday Ibo, has said he will not offer his condolence to Pastor Enoch Adeboye, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, over the sudden death of his son, Pastor Dari Adeboye, because the clerk refused to support the Yoruba nation. <laughs> Sunday Ibo said he will not greet or sympathize with Adeboye or anyone who refused to champion the cause of the Yoruba nation. Ibo, in an interview, did not miss ways when he rained curses on any leader or pastor who refuses to support the secession agenda, saying God will kill their children and wives. He said this during a live Facebook broadcast with his media aide, Ola, Olayomi Okoike, on Saturday night. Okeke had asked the activist to send some words to Adeboye through the live video to sympathize with him over the death of his son. But Sunday Igbo appeared inf infuriated by Koke's request as he asked if the man of God had declared his support for Yoruba nation. He said, has Baba supported Yoruba nation that we will now be greeting him? We don't need to greet Adoboye. What is my own with that? We are not doing church here. This is not religion. Pastor Adoboye did not speak about the Yoruba nation. Look at the number of crowd in Baba Adoboye's church. Is he not supposed to tell all of them to join Yoruba nation? We don't need to greet him. God himself we start asking questions from all the enemies of the Yoruba race. By the grace of God, anybody who says Yoruba will not get to the promised land. God will kill their children and wives and the entire family. Anybody who does not support the Yoruba nation, those who have powers, be it pastors or anybody that has the followers, but does not support the Yoruba nation, God, I call on you, you the one who owns me and the creator of everything. Those elders who see our sufferings, who see that the Fulanese are kidnapping us and collecting ransom, but choose not to support us as you kill their children, kill their wives. So shall it be. Hey, I beg you, this one hurt too. As I said, Nigerians have reacted. All right, someone said then, yeah. hmm. the Desperation in the man's tone shows that there is a sinister motive behind his agitation. For your information, Mr. Sunday Adeyomo Igbo, the Yorubas who you claim to be fighting for are, are Omo Labis and we never mock a grieving parent. If you want to sacrifice humanity to achieve the Yoruba nation, then it is not worth it. I am certain you will come out to apologize after this shameful outburst of yours. May God forgive you. Hmm. I understand his pain. Those called leader and senior pastor can frustrate someone's ambition. If I remain, I remain single to see Odudua and Biafra raise and become a nation, I will marry from Yoruba nation because this tribe are super and fun to be with. They reason like human beings just as Biafra does. They are industrious and educative. They aspire to build and create things to help life. They have fear of God unlike the primitive and worst tribe who deserves joy in killing and destroying. Nigerians are reacting. 
in as much as I express my condolence to Pastor Enoch Adeboye for the demands of his son, Pastor Dari Adeboye, I am using this avenue to plead to the man of God to tell his government the truth about the killings that is going on in the country, rather than urging us to keep praying for peace to reign. Once again, prayer without action is meaningless. Let's call a spade a spade. The Nigerian people are dying in multitude every day. Every life matter, not a particular life. Rest in peace, Pastor Derry Adebayi, the Yoruba, Yoruba nation forever. He did not tackle Pastor Adebayi either. <laughs> Abek, he just told him the truth, and that is it. All right, someone said, five nations will emerge from Nigeria. The country is already dead. The wrath of God is about to destroy what the Fulani built for many years. I do not know why Mr. Sondigbo will want to fight for a church of hopeless, senseless, and chameleonic people. He should just enjoy his life and himself. He should watch how the country will die a natural death. True corruption, massive economic exploitation, and insecurity. Back to see this, and everyone we understand that these people are be killing us. Let them continue to be like dummies. Very soon, the region will be overrun by terrorists, and it will be a disaster. Let's see who will rescue them at that point. Okay, someone said, yeah, anybody can die anytime. Death is death. The is painful aspect is that even ever since people have been dying in a tragic ways, all this Adeboye and co never comes out to hold Buhari administration for being responsible for those killings. This is why people choose this time to attack him. These are the pastor who choose Buhari and Usimba job for their followers in 2015. I love Fadam Baka for speaking up, even if his actions have got him suspended. Yet, he spoke like a, a real leader. Hi guys, I'm dropping it here. Now, don't hear the matter now. Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to subscribe.